just looking very lovely. <laughs> Great. All right. All right. So um, we just watch more. Look at all these people way to work. Watch your work is because some people are still confused. I mean, who haven't been here before? It's okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Oh, if you haven't been here before, that's cool. That's all right. Because then you know, then you'll know. And once you know, you can never unknow. It's one of those wonderful things. It looks like you. It's really simple. Basically, uh, we're here together. And what we do is we set, um, me and Alden, we set our timers. We were, bless you, and I know your name, but I can't remember it. It's... You don't know it. No, I knew it. Sorry. I live in the continual present. Everett? Thank you. Thank you for correcting me. Everett, like, uh, Everett, like, croup. Everett croup. Got it. Okay. I know. Yes. Got it. Okay. I just need, you know, a little mnemonic device. So what we do is we work together for 20 minutes, okay? On anything you want. Most of us are writing things, but you can do anything you want, as long as it doesn't disturb others. And, um, and then we, after the 20 minute timer goes off, then we talk about your work and your creative process. So if you have questions about your work and your creative process, the gestures often help, right? right. You may, you can ask me and we'll, I'll offer some uh, answers and then we'll kind of maybe bat it around a little bit. Some other uh, artists in the community might offer some answers, okay? And that's what we do, so it's an opportunity for you to talk about your work and what you're going through, for example. You don't have to talk. It's not mandatory. And and that's basically it. Have I left anything out? Is there something uh, that you know? Yeah, that's right. There's some people watching online, because Avery's behind the camera, and Audrey's going to come here, and you're going to explain how those people are watching online can tweet it. Um, so, if you have any questions for those of you watching online, you can tweet at us at, at WatchMeWorkSLP with the hashtag HowlRound, which is H O W L R O U N D. Um, you can also put uh, your questions through Instagram Live, the public's Instagram Live, or our uh, Facebook as well. Um, that's it. That's it. Right. And, yeah, and, and just so you know, if you want to ask me questions about my creative process or my work, I'll be a good girlfriend and make it all about you. That's what I was talking to today. And it was earlier, but it's not right now. Okay, so, uh... I may get this off, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. People, you know, it might help somebody. That's true. Should we turn the music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get to it, yeah. I know. Sorry. I thought that was in my head. I thought it was in my head. And then, I, I, it is. But, uh...
getting it clear and making things you know matter so that, right. so that it's more like I mean what they had before was fun but it was like Seinfeld it was like nothing why does this matter at the end you know, two episodes later right 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 okay so so you're providing a valuable you know, you're a valuable asset, you're providing something very valuable for them, and it doesn't sound like something that you would write if you were writing on your own. That's, so, it doesn't matter, because it's not about you. Right. <laughs> and that's the sort of thing we have to learn. Sometimes when you write, it is about you. And sometimes when you write, it's for you, but it's not about you. And sometimes when you write, it's so not about you, it's about them. And learning how to dive in and go, yeah, they called you because they need your help and your expertise, you know. And I, so, so it's a, it's a blessing. And sometimes blessings don't always look really, you know. Yay! They all agree with me, and they all let me do whatever I want. No, it doesn't look like that. And you know, you learn that though. I mean, we learn that in, uh, you know, first grade. You know what I mean? And we have to learn it again. We have to learn it all the time. But, you know, we learn that. And that's just, that's all it is. And it sounds like it's going to be a good project. It sounds like it's going to be cool. Just Hopefully. I'll let you all know when it's up. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, you know, it happens, you know. It happens. It's like the next level of being a professional. You're a professional, you know. I mean, it's okay. It's good. Somebody wants you to do a job. That's a good thing. It's a really good thing. It's called a blessing. That's in the blessings category. You know? If nobody wanted you to ever fucking work with them ever, <laughs> that would be kind of me. You know, but people are saying, hey, we want you to help us write this because you're really good at that structure thing and making things matter. And that's like, I, I can come in and give that. You know, and I bet, I bet, I'm willing to bet that you might just learn something from them that you can carry over into your own writing. Hopefully. Yeah, I bet you. We always do. I do anyway when I do these work for hire things. I work for hire a lot. So. Anybody else? Yes, yes. Oh, you, you're, there's people wearing yellow. Yes. Oh, yellow. I'm, I'm seeing like triple. Yes, yes. I have a question. It's more on What's your name? advice. What's your name? Gina. Gina. Yes. Okay, cool. Thanks. Um, so I wrote a one-woman show. I'm like coming back again here. I think before like maybe one or two years ago. Okay. And I can get passionate and I wrote it and one of the subjects I had a hard time dealing with. Okay. And then I faced the demon. Oh, okay. But then I got really dark and I just destroyed it. Which I'm fine with actually. I have a lot of peace with that. Right. Because now I'm like, it's funny, it's called Morena Back to the Basics and now I'm back to the basics. Right. But um, I just wanted to know, because I remember like a while back I use it, I'm an actor so I use it for my personal work and you were like, you got this. And I remember putting that on my mirror. Uh -huh. And it really helped me with a lot of things. Yeah, so right. I always put, you got this. Right. So I was wondering if there were three things, whether it's a mantra or a saying, in terms of, you know, those little whispers that you talk to a giant and you're like, I got this. In terms of writing and starting all over. Because because I put in the work, I already know, or I think I know, the elements that I'm going to like revisit. Because I did it. I just destroyed it. And now it's just going to be, you know, a different kind of voice. And like I said, I'm at peace with that. At first I was like, I can't believe you did that, but it's done. There's nothing I can do about that. Okay. So now at the beginning process again, I'm just curious if you have, you know, any mantras or secrets. Because I liked I got this. Right, right, right. So, so is I got this? Is, is did everybody hear Gina? Is she's working. On, she's working on something. She wrote it. How much of it did you write, Gina? I wrote China. I wrote the whole thing. China. spelled like China. Oh, now I remember you. I remember China. You wrote the whole thing. Yeah, I just had one thing, and it was about a topic, and you gave me great notes. Yeah. That I had a struggle with because uh, I didn't want the I didn't want that part to be victimized. I wanted uh -huh. to be kind of empowered. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. once I finished that. I just, it was hard. Did you like destroy it? Like, Tina, did you like burn it? Or, I, you know, it's funny, I did it. Trash. Well, it's still a sensitive topic because I'm like, I'm getting emotional, but yeah. But you, you I'm sorry, you, what did you do to it? I destroyed it at first. You burnt it? And, and there's no trace? I mean, I think there are notes from the email. That's okay. Or there's, there's, there's your, there's, you remember it. 
Would I you like to? Yeah, would you know. like to reconstruct it? Would you? No. Oh, you want to start on something new, or? No, I want to do the same thing. Oh, great. Okay. I just I made peace that that was a choice. I mean, obviously, it's still a sensitive topic. Yeah. So I mean, I made peace that I did that. I just want to know in the rebirth. Yeah, sure. Phoenix of it all. Sure. Yeah, yeah. If you have any like mantras or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there are lots of them. We have lots of them. You only want three? I mean, you want I mean, you can get as many as you wanted. You got it. You want? You got this? It's like you got this kind of like you had it. No, you <laughs> had it. <laughs> So, so I that, had it, and then... No, 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 that's not, that's not one. We're going to let that one go. Because okay. you got this one for the old one. I mean, why don't we use, um, I mean, there's so many, but uh, the ones that come to mind are really good because they're from the Civil Rights Movement. So, okay. And it's Earth Day, and somehow that's connected. <laughs> um, so uh, how about uh, Ain't Nobody Gonna Turn Me Around? How about that one? Okay. That's a good one, right? And... Uh, and uh, uh, how about um, Eyes on the Prize? Yeah. How about that one? I love that one. How about that one? That's a good one. Yeah. That's two, Eyes on the Prize. You know. And how about uh, This Little Light of Mine, I'm Gonna Let It Shine? How about that one? Okay. That's a really good one, because a lot of times, you know, and not shine like in the, I'm gonna burn this. <laughs> so what we're not including is burn, baby, burn. We're not including that one. Oh, well, that's a good one. But we're not including that one, okay? So those three, those three are good, and you can also put in like corny ones, like I love you, okay. like that one. You can put that on your mirror, or on a page, you know, like I love my work, like that. That's kind of corny, but it kind of works, you know, it works, you know. Thank you is also a good one. Put in the time, the spirit will never fail you. Keep on keeping on, you know, you know, and you could, do you, do you live nearby? Do you? I live in Spanish Harlem. So you could, so you can come and visit us sometime, you know what I mean, yeah, right? Yeah. You can come, you can come yeah. back and visit and hang out because it helps to sort of keep. Have touch. community village. Yeah, you know, it's like, you know, like Hillary said and other people long before it takes a village, you know, and it do. It takes a village. You know, okay? Thank you. You've got to put in the time. You're going to start putting no, in the time. Well. And that's the thing, because you say, we say, like, you know, I know how to do it, I did it, I did it, but you, it's going to be, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be an uphill climb, but you won't be the only one doing it. Yeah. Well, all you look, have to look around, you'll see, like, oh, look, there are people climbing this thing. Oh, look, there's a whole room full of people. You know what I'm saying? And that's, like, a wonderful thing. Okay, I'm glad you came back, Gina. Thank you. Okay, so when are you going to start? Did you already start? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I made myself come here. I was like, oh, it's late. I'm not going to. I was like, no, you're going to start today. Good. It's Earth Day. It's Earth Day. That's, it's an auspicious day. It's Earth Day. And it's a full moon. There you go. So the whole world is behind you. Yeah. Like, you can't get better than that, yo. Yeah. Right? Okay, and the sun is in Taurus. I mean, for those of us who care about this, <laughs> it is very meaningful. Because some of the best people in the world were born during the 21st of April and 21st of May. Not to be like weird about it. <laughs> okay? Anybody else? Yeah, man. Um, my name's Kevin. Hey, I, Kevin. Uh, I have more second question. So when you're applying to, when you're applying to different fellowships and right. opportunities. Um, you're often asked to submit, uh, choose a portion of your full uh -huh. piece yeah. um, to submit. And uh -huh. um, uh, in a lot of info sessions, they, they'll, they'll tell you, you know, um, give us something that kind of leads us into the plot, or other opportunities will say, um, give us the essence, whatever that is. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so in, let's say on average, you have like 80 to 90 pages in one play. Well, how do you choose? Well, so you can, that's a great question. Everyone here can ask questions. How do you choose those 10 to 20 pages when you're applying for a fellowship or a grant or a residency or whatever? How do you choose those? Um, I mean, I would, I would choose the ones that I get most excited about. Like, wow, this is really exciting. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes that might be the beginning. 
you know, sometimes that might be a scene that you just love and you can give the reader, the grant person, you know, some kind of context. This is what this happens and they can really get a sense of what your life as a writer, you know. Um, but the part where you go, yeah, I really like that. Not to try to second guess the mind of somebody you may have never met. Like, what are they looking for? I think I'm gonna... And that's kind of tricky, you know? Um, but, but do you have, do you, are you also allowed to write a personal statement with um, it, or? Yes, but I'm finding a, a lot of, um, a lot of applications are now, um, they're doing these blind reads and they're really focusing less and less on um, the, the content of what you've written in the application and more so on the okay. itself. And just a blind read. They, right. they, they, don't, they don't want it to know you, they just want to know your work. Right, and not until, until maybe in, in some of the larger um, competitions, um, they'll, they, when they've kind of whittled down the group, then they'll want to know a little bit more about it. Right, 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 right. right. I, would pick, I would choose the part of your work that you love the most. And, you know, let, you know, really let the, it sounds correct, but let what happens happen. And you win either way, because if you do get the grant of fellowship, then you get the grant of the fellowship. If you don't get the grant of the fellowship, then, like, five years from now, you can say, fuck you, see how great I am. <laughs> like that. And both of those things have happened in my experience. You know what I mean? Because you know, really, you know, some, sometimes they just miss, you're, you're wonderful, and you don't get the, the, the prize that you should have gotten or the grant of the fellowship. But you still shine on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And just take it as a, a blessing. It's a kind of a, a, an exercise. You know, if you can take everything that happens as a blessing. Like, ah. You know? Okay? Yeah. And you so say you can't go wrong. Just pick, yeah. And if you have a party or something you love. And it might also give them some idea about like who you are or whatever, you know, like that, that's cool, that's a win-win, then go for it, you know. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Yeah, oh, you're going, okay, sure. Hey. I have a question from Instagram. Oh, great. Oh, great, okay. So, I'm having a stage meeting. Right, Miranda. You're having a stage reading and you've never done it before, yes? Can you proceed? Yeah, okay. and so what would you advise me to pay the most attention to at a stage reading? Like, what would be the most important thing? Huh. Huh. So she's having a stage reading. You're a Miranda. I'm Miranda. I'm sorry. I'm, I know you because you're part of the family. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So Miranda's having a stage reading of a play. Right? The play, and she was wondering, what do I pay attention to the most? Right? Um, so, well, what one thing you're sitting there? Do, will you be watching with a notebook? Um, I'll have the script on my notebook. Okay, okay, okay. So you can have like, uh, are you gonna have it like printed out, or are you gonna yeah, have a it on your whatever uh, device, and then you have a notebook that's open? Sometimes it's helpful to take notes about how you're feeling. Sometimes it's like, oh, I love this part. The next day, oh, I feel like shit, oh, I'm so embarrassed, oh, I hope no one's really into my and everyone hates me. Just allow yourself to feel your feelings. Oh, this one really works. Oh, that scene went well. I got a laugh there. You can just record your feelings and thoughts. So the most thing, I would say pay attention to you and how you feel about what you're experiencing, you know? Um, that, you know, and you say, oh, that worked, oh, that felt good, oh, 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 something's missing there. You know, but I would say watch with a notebook open and just write things down. So it doesn't all go over like a wash, and then you wonder what the fuck just happened. You know, you know, that kind of thing. That's what I would, that's what I would do when I listen to readings, I just take notes. You know, okay, is that helpful? Thanks. Good luck, when you have it. When, when? Uh, yeah, hey, that's a very good day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. How many yeah. actors? Oh, how many actors? Yeah. Five. I have found with readings that actors are marvelous because they can tell you a lot whether there's an internal logic to that.
character or whether it's not. And even if it's a small character, tell you whether that character has any importance at all. So, so try and get your actors to be honest with you. And if they can't be, look at them really closely and, and, and try and figure out whether they're getting into that character and feel it's any importance or challenge to them. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. That's a really great idea. But, but just to know, if they don't want to be really honest with you, don't push them. Because they might, you know, dramaturgy yeah. is not necessarily an actor's strong suit, and they might be pushed to say something. I really hated that moment when you just said, the, oh, sorry, Ugh. you know what I mean? So just, 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 you know. yeah, no, that's what I meant. It's, it's yeah. the logic of the character right. that's much more important right. with them than telling you about a structure. Right, scene. right, right. No, I'm very smart. Remind me of your, I keep forgetting your name. Jim. Jim. Oh, Jim. Okay. It's easy to forget. Is it common name? No, 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 no. It should be easy to remember. It should be a joy to remember. Okay, now I have a piece of, I have a mnemonic of this. We'll see how it works. That's, that's good. Great, Jim. That's, that's, that's excellent. Excellent. Anybody? Yeah, man. Hi, uh, I'm Victor. Hey, Victor. Hi. Um, this is something that I feel like I still see in a lot of things, whether it's like film or theater or, or whatever, and um, I'm... I'm trying to write a short film that, that's about like an open relationship. Right. That's just something that fascinates me a lot. Right. And in that, you know, like, I want to explore, you know, all the fears or insecurities and the joy and the sex and desire that goes along with that kind of thing. And when right. you put those words down on the list, that's exciting. But when you're creating characters, I feel like it's easy to kind of get into this loop of your making these characters into a more like a thematic exposition. Like they're serving the exposition only. You're not creating actual human people right. um, that are going to latch themselves onto your part of your right. experience. So right. I'm just wondering what are some things I can focus on or let you do in, in terms of you know, creating a person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great question. Did everybody hear Victor? Pretty much, yeah? Okay. Uh, so he's writing something. We're just talking about creating characters. Regardless of the subject matter, actually, you're writing about open relationships. But if we were writing about long distance running, which kind of is like an open relationship, um, not a relationship, but totally playing. Um, uh, it's kind of the opposite of, of but how would we create characters, right? Instead of just checking things off, you know, I want to talk about this, I want to talk about this, I want to talk about this, we don't want to do that, we want to talk about characters, right? So, um, uh, desire is really important when you talk about characters, regardless of the subject matter, right? I.e., what does a character want? So you have someone named whatever, Jane, right? And she's one of your characters, per se. What does she want more than anything? You know, so desire is a, is a, a really strong thing to focus on. Do you have that? When you think of your characters, do you have names for them? I'm still in the, like, exploratory. So, see, but that, see that, ah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, in my, I mean, I'm kind of old school, you know, but I, I characters have names. That's old, you know, I mean, they can be called 1, 2, 17, you know, 365, whatever they call it. You know, but a character, you can give a character a name. Why? Because then it, uh, the, the sort of gravitational pull increases. Things will magnetize toward that person. Okay? So decide on a name, whatever the name is. Understand? Call them something. Right? X, Y. A, B, whatever. Okay. Okay. You don't have to sweat too much about the names. Like, oh shit, is that the wrong name? Is that the right name? It doesn't matter. Okay. Are you a? Would you consider yourself a perfectionist? <laughs> yeah. I can tell. Yeah, I can read you. Great. Okay. Okay. It's okay. You can let that go. You can let it go because we love you, and there's no wrong. You can't get it wrong. 
no, no, believe me. And I'm like old enough to be like your grandmother. You can't get it wrong. Or at least, you know, kind of your grandmother. But you can't get it wrong. You can't get it wrong. You just got to do it. You got to do it. You know? Throw yourself in there. You know? Okay? What do they want more than anything? If you had a character name, just make up a name. Just pretend you know. Yeah. Huh? Ash. Ash? Ash. 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 Great. Okay, so Ash. So Ash wants more than anything. What do they want? Just, just pretend you know. Just pretend. Safety. Safety. Great. So you got a character named Ash, and about how old are they? Kind of sort of like, just pretend. I don't know. Whatever. 12? 15? 50. 50. Great. Ash wants safety more than anything. Great. There's somebody. That's interesting. Okay, I'm leaning in. Who would say another character? Who are they? Uh, uh, yeah. Just kind of, whatever. Uh, let's go with X. 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 Okay, E-X or just X? <laughs> just X. Like mouth of X or just like, just X? Just, just, no, just, X. just X. Okay, X, what do they want? Uh, yeah. Money. 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 Great, and how about how old are they? They're about, yeah, you know, something. They're... 19. 19, fantastic. X, they want money more than anything, and they're 19. They're two people. You see? It's, I mean, it, when you get out of the way, it's easy. You know? The whole thing about Easter, I have this theory. No, really. Think about it. Roll away the stone. What are we actually talking about? You know, okay, so it was a big thing. You know, everyone who really was like rooting for Jesus was like, yes, he told you. He's somebody, right? But the idea of just getting out of the way, roll away the stone so that you can actually do what you want to do. Get out of the fucking way. Get out of your own way. It's okay. We're all here. You know, you, so you've got two characters now, right? Okay, in the end, does X get money? No. Let's go with no. Okay. In the end, does Ash get safety? No. No. Okay. Are there any other characters in there? I think it's the two of them. The two of them. Okay. So there you go. There's something. Okay. And in the, in the beginning, does X have money? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> and in the beginning, does Ash have safety? Yeah. Yes. Great, so, they, so Ash wants more safety, or Ash wants to retain safety. Great, okay. Okay, there you go. There's something. Right? Okay, you're looking at me like, what? <laughs> no. yeah, you're on your way, you've been on your way for a long time then, you see. <laughs> That's the trick, we just go, yeah, there you are. It's like long distance running. <laughs> Anybody else? Questions? Probably not. It's all weird today. Birthday. We have an Instagram question. Someone from Instagram says, "What's the best way to get out of the way of writer's block?" I know. Oh, see what we just did. What's the best way? What's the best way to get out of the way for writer's block? I love that question. So, what do you do? Anybody got any answers? Come on, somebody has answers. Has anybody ever had writer's block? No. Yes. No. No. Ever had it? Yes. Dance. What do you do? Dance. 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 Like to music or to? <laughs> Sometimes to music. Sometimes to music. Do you have to go to a club and do no. this? No. no. You just like whatever. You just, <laughs> right yeah. here. You just right here. You just start moving, moving. That's very good. Anybody else? Huh? Huh? No. You're covering your face. You've never had writer's block. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? You what? You listen to jazz. So you like listen to music. Like who? Jazz? What? Um, who? I listen to. Bill Frizzell, Bill Frizzell, he's played at the Blue Note. May, yes, in May uh, 2nd or 5th. I think I took it to the oh, I, got, I, I got a gig in D.C., but I, go. Bill Frizzell, great jazz player, fantastic. So you listen to music. Again, so you put, put on some great music that you love, right? Bill Frizzell. Yeah, great. Okay, so that's great. Who else? Yeah, what do you, what do, you do? So, so I would do a different art form, so like something that you don't normally do. So if you write, you do, I don't know, get up and dance, or if like you're a writer, per se, then you would just like, I don't know, do something with the yo-yo, so you have a new perspective. Do something with the yo-yo. <laughs> that's, that's great. So, so we got to go out and buy yo-yo. Yeah. That's okay. Do they still sell yo-yo? Yeah. 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 Ye
Okay, so we, I mean, and you do a yo-yo, right? You do a little yo-yoing, like, around the world, and walk the dog, no tricks, whatever. I mean, I have no idea what that is, but, yeah, that, that's good. Do something else. Yeah, like, or do music, drawing, anything that right. changes your perspective on whatever Change it up. Super smart. Change it up. Change it up. Don't just sit there and go, ooh. <laughs> right. Well, like, take a break, too. Take a break. Right, take a break. Like, a have, make yourself some tea. Yes. You can also pray. Pray is good. Pray is good. It's free. It doesn't allow, a ma a matter if you believe in the higher power, whatever. That, that's, not, that's not the point. You're basically asking yourself to come to your assistance. You go, please, please, please help me. I so want to write, or whatever. I so want to create this thing. Please, please help me. Here I am. Like Homer. Did anybody ever hear the Odyssey, that poem, you know? What does he say? Oh, muse, something I'm paraphrasing now, but yo, here I am. Help me. Help me write this cool poem about this person. I don't know what he said. But he said he started off with a prayer. Prayer prayer works. You know, you're just asking for help. Call a friend. Come to watch me work. That's helpful. You know, come, show up, and we laugh together. We go, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> That's good. Anybody else have any? Yeah? Or you just you just do it? Oh yeah. You just do it. We got like five minutes. Yeah? And what do you do? I was just doing that. You were just doing that. It feels good, right? Right? Yeah, right? Set a timer. Get a timer. Yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah, get a timer, set it for like 20 minutes. Um, don't use your phone, because your phone is cracked. I would suggest <laughs> an actual timer. Uh, it doesn't have to look like this. Someone's laughing, your phone is cracked. <laughs> Put down the pipe. Um, your phone is cracked, because it has all these magical things on it that we love. We go like that, but no, you don't want to do that. You want to get a timer that only counts down time. And you want to set it for 20 minutes. Or if that's too much, set it for 10. And you turn it on and you write and you just like go for it. And um, you know, writer writer's block is real, but it's also like just in your head. So you know? And just you know, write and then rewrite. That's what we do. Sometimes we try to write and we want it to be perfect. Not naming any names, Victor. Did your parents name you that? Well, your parents named you Winner. <laughs> uh, no pressure, but that's such a great name. Okay. Yeah, right? Okay, that's a great name. Winner. Winner, that's your name. Okay. So, you know, you just have to, like, apply yourself. Put in the time. Just put in the time. Yeah? It's true. True, true. I do this. What a good question. Anybody else real quick? We have, like, what, two minutes? Three minutes? Four minutes. Four minutes. Oh, plenty of time. Yeah, what's your name? Um, my name is Joanne. Hey, Joanne. Hello. Um, Did you answer? Yes. But these wonderful people are working on one of your plays. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, Which one? The Last Black Man. In the, the Last world. Black Man, the whole entire world, a.k.a. the Negro from the Dead. Yes. But this is about them and their creative process. Yeah. I, <laughs> could you just say a few words, perhaps? Yeah. What? That, I don't know. <laughs> Some words. <laughs> <laughs> People are hiding. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there you go. What? You go. go for Zell fan. So. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of a little black man with water. Uh huh. Okay. In approaching the road, um, are you having some difficulty with finding his timeline? Like, what does he know and what doesn't he know? How does his knowledge? Okay. <laughs> Since we only have two minutes. Yeah, I know. And, you know, again, Watch Me Work is about your work and your creative process. And if I were to answer that question, then you wouldn't have to do the play. Right? <laughs> allow, allow, sit with the complexity. Allow it to inform every moment of your life. <laughs> Read it aloud with your friends. Have a really cool costume. Do you play guitar? 
like, oh, of course you do. You're Bill Frizzell fan. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe he also played the guitar somewhere to play. I don't know what to say. I don't know. I, I, don't, I really don't know. But thank you for asking. I'm glad you guys are here. Yes? Okay, so I'm also in their play. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm this before Columbus. I just want to know if I'm on the right track. Yes. <laughs> yes, you are. You're on the right track. Look, you're here. <laughs> if I'm thinking like before Columbus is like this innocence before like uh, like the freedom and innocence before like Columbus came, because that's like on the right track. Or just the moments before Columbus came. Oh, Innocence yes. would be a judgment, right? That means that there was a perfection before, and we know that not to be true. There was complexity before, and there's complexity after, isn't there? Just like the bullshit didn't start happening two years ago with the election of our current president. Hello, everybody, wake up. Shit's been going on for a long time, right? So before Columbus is just before Columbus. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Hopefully you guys are also being encouraged to write or create your own work with this play, yeah? Or dance, yeah? Yeah? Anybody have any questions about their work though before we go? Because, you know, I'm here for you guys. This is, I know, we can have one more question. Somebody, somebody, yeah, you. Uh, so, go. when you're writing, should you, oh, my name is Owen. Hey, Owen. Uh, when you're writing, should you be writing for yourself or should you be writing for the audience? Because I'm working on this script that I'm working on and it's a little pause on it because I felt like I'm trying to like add all these social issues um, right. to ensure that I'm connecting with the audience. But then I feel like when I'm doing that, I'm losing right. my mind right. for why I'm writing. Right. I will quote, I will give you a quote. Hopefully it will explain, answer your question. Did everybody hear what Owen wanted to say? Are we going to write for ourselves and for our audience? I will quote from the death of the last black man in the whole time. It will be of us. It will be for us. But we will mention them from time to time. So in the future, when they come along, they'll know that they exist. Write for yourself. And by writing completely for yourself, you'll write for the whole world. Yeah. It's easy. Okay? Thanks for your question, Thank you. Thanks for the Thanks, you guys. Are we done now? It's 6 o'clock. Yes,